Hi, my name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. gang here we are welcome back to the channel my name is Dave this is blind men outdoors and today we're uh, today we got to do some spring cleaning now this spring cleaning is a little bit more fun than usual because what it involves is taking all my winter gear out of my adventure truck and uh, replacing it with my spring gear uh, we got a lot done this week guys we got uh, some yucca pack parts here ready to go those are gonna start assembly tomorrow uh, which is why we're not going out this weekend. We want to catch up because we had such a killer time at the Edmonton Outdoorsman Show where I got to hang out with a lot of you guys. Um, drive some business up for the AOA Expo. We got some really cool new vendors coming out uh, this year. As you know, uh, this year's sponsors are Off Grid Trailers and uh, Ember uh, Trailers. If you don't know who they are, I'm going to put a link down in the description. I really want to encourage you guys to check them out. They're very cool. They are basically a hybrid of a traditional RV with this micro camper movement, um, but done in a, in, a, in a different way. It's not like an RV that's been shrunk down to a teardrop. They really try to keep the, keep the RV feel, um, which is really unique. It might be a really good product for those that are just getting started into this and don't know if they wanna make the jump from traditional camping. Um, so very cool. So we're excited to have them on board. Shout out to Woody's RV and Clayton over there in Leduc. If you guys want to know more, like I said, I will put it down in the description below. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so that is literally everything out of the truck. Um, everything except for the tools. So there is a drawer um, in, the, in the bed drawer here, the, the, the cubby all the way at the back. That just keeps tools in it. So that's gonna keep tools in it just so that I know for a fact if something were to happen and I need them that I know what's in there because I, this might sound nerdy, but I got a, a list <clears throat> that I keep in the cab of what tools I have in the truck. So if something ever does happen, um, I know exactly what I'm able to fix on the trail and not. I've also got a couple of seals, some U-joints, um, some basic stuff that's going to break on the trail that I have, um, that I have in there um, just for spare parts. So Now what we're going to do is uh, go through Yucca Pack and make sure everything on Yucca Pack is copacetic. And if that's the case, then we got to start organizing. So... Let's go. All 
Oh, grow up. Okay, so about an hour and a half later, uh, got the truck all freshly detailed, got the interior of the camper all freshly detailed. So now, all of this needs to be amalgamated and some of it will go back into there and some of it will go onto these shelves over here and in bins until next winter. Okay, so I think this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna separate this into two piles for now. First pile is going into the rear seat delete. So that'll be going in to the back here, inside there and underneath the fridge tray. The rest of it is gonna go into this cabinet and that drawer. And whatever goes into that drawer will probably also eventually come out again because currently we are working with Fart Systems out of Calgary. I'll drop their info right here to offer a full build-out kit for you to pack camper. So if you end up deciding you want a camper or really any other camper for that matter and you want to find someone in Canada who can facilitate an entire build out, which means like the Yuka pack comes with a cabinet and a table. Um, but the, the drawer slides and the fanciness with the flip downs and the upper divs and the what you call it, uh, that'll all be made by Alan over at Fart Systems. So yeah, this will be fun. Alright guys, so this is what we've done. We've broken it down into two separate piles. We've organized those piles, set them up in cute little ways so that we can know exactly what is going where, etc. So, this is truck pile, this is camper pile. So everything here goes either in or on the camper. And all this stuff here goes into the truck. Actually no, that's wrong. This goes over here. There. So, this is how we'll do it. I'll give you guys a quick little skinny on what everything is. This is my Eagle Creek mat, uh, Backwoods Mat Books Carrier. I got a flashlight, headlamp, uh, cleaner for the dog bed area. I also use that in the camper. Dog leash, gloves, first aid kit, and a burn blanket. And a fire blanket underneath. Uh, I've got my go bag, slack line, tree hugger, uh, so this bag is basically my winch remote, OBD2 scanner, and a few other uh, electronic stuff. Um, rapid air deflator, tire plug kit. Uh, this is my kitchen set. So I made this actually um, from the dollar store. So I just went to the dollar store and bought a lunch kit and filled it with campware. I bought some of this stuff on Amazon, like these things. Those are pretty cool. But uh, the rest of this is all sourced from the dollar store or gifts or whatever, so that's the mess kit. Two plates, two bowls, two cups. All right, this is my Woods cook set. That's my gold pan, those are my binos. Chair, hatchet, whatever book I'm reading right now, we're trying to Muscle through Connectography by Prague Kana. I'm probably abusing that name to shit, so my bad. Uh, Yeti mug, MSR. I don't actually know where I got this. Um, I think this might actually be Jeremy's. Uh, MSR cook set or uh, kettle. Zeus's sleeping bag. And that is what is going in the truck and stays in the truck. There's a few goodies as well. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the go bags. So there's food, a tarp. Uh, emergency stuff. There's basically 48 hours in that bag um, with the possibility of doing more. And then I'll usually grab one of those. So that's my camp kitchen on top. And that is a camp box. So inside there's all my backpacking gear. Inside there is my dish detergent, etc. Okay, now coming over to the camper. So the Yuka Pack, depending on how you get yours, comes with a charger. 
basically allows you to charge the camper uh, separately from your truck so you never have to rely on your start battery or worry about killing your start battery, etc. So that's what that's for. Uh, minus 20 sleeping bag, synthetic fill, north face. Um, down, yeah, down sleeping bag by Sierra Designs. That one's my favorite. Uh, this is my fire, my fire pit. This is really cool. Um, this is the only thing I ever purchased off Facebook. Uh, back when Facebook would run ads that were like before the algorithm got really good. Um, this popped up and this was like $12. It took like eight months to get here. Um, but it's super cool. I've used it a lot, especially during the winter. First aid kit inside there is also 24 hours of the food. It's also a survival kit. MSR, uh, reactor stove with a fuel canister. A thing of wipe all. Uh, up here is my fire started, my bear spray um, with a tree line quick fire in there. You all know how we get down in the evening, so we've got a Game Boy Color. Uh, some solar lanterns, a little inverter, some foot warmers, spare set of socks, another hand detergent. Bug nets for the camper, a spare leash, a towel, a set of traction boards, um, and then some bags just to keep everything organized. Then the water. Uh, so this goes in in the springtime and it stays in there generally all summer and spring. Shovel, we got the new Adventure Trail gear, mole panel in there, and then the duffel also goes inside the camper as well. And another really cool piece of kit that I got, man, my hair is all, what you doing? Uh, this week, so I don't know what it is about me and Contigo's or uh, Traveler's mugs in general. Uh, I can't seem to find them every, any time, so... My buddy Greg over at uh, Adventure Quest got tapped into his Stanley collection and brought out this beauty for me. So I'm not going to lose this one, but this thing is sweet. I filled this thing up with coffee this morning. It's now 1030. I filled this up at eight. If it was cold out, I would call that warm. So that's awesome. Um, Coming to the drawer portion. You guys stuff in here already. So we got a ratchet set, high vis, reflective, which also doubles as rain gear. So this is a little redundant, but it is high vis in case there's a situation where I need to raise uh, awareness of my, either my location uh, or it's pissing down rain or I got to do a muddy recovery and I don't want to get full of mud. That's what that's going to be for. Uh, strap, recovery strap, two extra shackles, a set of booster cables, uh, the woods dual grill slash burner stove and then a whole bunch of tools in here. I got a spare long really long kinetic recovery strap uh, Spare u-joint uh, There's a bearing in here somewhere, too uh, I've got pliers and screwdrivers ratchet wrenches and wrenches uh, Allen set a big old 36 and a 34 because someone always needs one for some reason So yeah, so that's what's in the door that's just gonna go like that. So yeah, like I said, everything down there is gonna go in here and here. Everything in there is gonna go in here. So I say we just let her buck because it's now like 10.30, 11 o'clock and I'm getting tired. So let's get everything back into the truck and then uh, call her a day. All you super awesome guys and gals and adventure nerds that is everything that goes into my truck everything 
Um, I'm not putting the sleeping bags or the fire pit in yet. Uh, I'm doing some troubleshooting on my uh, battery charger right now. So I'm just going to let it sit on there all night when it's parked at the house. And then tomorrow morning when we come back in to jump on this yucca pack, I will uh, go through it then. But it is now probably close to midnight. Um, but that's okay. Bit of a night owl myself anyway. I do like my early mornings though, especially before the whole world wakes up. So all I'm going to do now is put uh, Zeus's dog bed mattress back in the back. Uh, we took out quite a bit of gear. Um, I'm noticing there's a considerable amount of space in there right now. Um, something that we do have to do before too long is we have to put the awning back on. However, I'm just waiting to hear from one of our friends uh, from one of Canada's Western Canada's uh, overland dealers um, to see if maybe we want to do something a little special with the youth pack and do some sort of cool cross branding, cross brand promotions, um, at least with the prototype and uh, test out different, different awning setups. Uh, something we also didn't talk about is the table. So the table gets folded up and 90% uh, of the time it sits up in there so there is a space between the top frame and the cabinet and the table actually fits perfectly up there I just shove it right up there and it doesn't move um, yeah like right up right up in there so pretty awesome little space throw the table um, yeah so gang you know the drill if uh, if you like the adventure truck kind of thing, if you want to hang out with me, Zeus, uh, or anything like that, let me know. Also keep in mind guys, AOA Expo is going to be uh, launching tickets here uh, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled to the website. I'm talking like, like less than probably two weeks from now. So be checking that website. It might be early. I don't remember exactly with the date that we're launching tickets. Uh, so forgive me, but they are going on sale right away, so make sure you jump on there. If you guys are curious about a Yucca Pack camper, uh, www.blindmanoverland.com. If you guys want to pick up some swag, uh, hats, hoodies, uh, we've also got AOA Expo merch as well for sale. Um, propane brackets, accessories, uh, fridge trays, let me know. Uh, I can get you guys hooked up with whatever you need. Thanks so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Next one, we are going out and going to do some exploring, some adventuring. It's springtime here, so I'm really eager to get out. Um, however, it is going to depend on our work schedule because we got one more you could pack right after this one that needs to get built. So and that's going to be it, guys. Thanks so much. Do something crazy this week. Step outside your box. Get out there in the great outdoors. Spend some time. Immerse yourself in everything that you are. Remember... You are literally the universe looking back at itself and enjoying itself. So get out there, spend some time with Mother Earth and the great creator. And uh, that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all. Okay. Bye.